All right, in the first grade routines for the um, new 2018 version, it goes from what used to be in the first grade version where we would add two, three, or four, and we count by ones, okay, that used to be what we did, to let's change the rigor a little bit because now we need to get up into our tens and ones. So now students count by tens and then ones. So if we were 82, we would count um, up to the number 82. We'd say today's number is 82. And then we'd count up there, 10, 20, 30, all the way to 80, and then we'd use our um, single fingers and we count to 82. But what we know is that we might have some students who did not get kindergarten routines, might be lacking their number sequence, um, may not have missed chunks of kindergarten in the past. And so if you're feeling like you just need to kind of rejuvenate some of those counting skills um, and number identification, I would include the 2013 um, routine, specifically the 120 chart, in addition, we're not taking it away, but in addition to this routine. Okay, so let me show you what that might look like. There's a hidden slide here, and this would um, be where we would just choose a number. Now, generally in kindergarten, we start with um, the number one, and we just keep track of the number of the days in school. We're not going to do that with this um, for specifically with first grade. We can't afford to start all the way at one, and we want to add more than one each day. So let's just say for the sake of argument that our number was 13. So this is how your chart would look, whether using the ver uh, the uh, virtual version or you're using your um, physical version in your classroom, you would have circles around these numbers. So you would just say, boys and girls, we're going to start with the number 13. So you can see all of your directions are over here on the right. And I would say, boys and girls, today we're going to add two more. Now you choose. You could add two more, three more, four more. So you can circle one of these numbers and say, this is how many more we're going to add. Boys and girls, let's add two more. Count with me. 14. 15. Okay, so we have 13 plus two more equals 15. Boys and girls, what's today's new number? 15. Boys and girls, did we make a new 10? Think about it. Class? No. Boys and girls, um, how many more do we need to make a new 10? Think about it. Class, and they should all show with their fingers, five. You're right, because five and five make a 10. Boys and girls, we're going to count to the number 15. Would you count with me using your fingers while I use my pointer? Every time we get to a 10, I want you to clap. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five. You'd keep going. Nine. And then you get to 10. We clap. Keep going. Now I want you to count with your fingers. Um, still just representing that ones place. 11, one finger, 12, two fingers, etc. 13, 14, 15. Boys and girls, today's number is 15. 15 is the same as one group of 10 and five extra ones. Let's say it again. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. It's one group of 10 and five extra ones. Boys and girls, now let's count to 15 using tens and ones. Okay, so now we're transitioning really to that first grade idea. So if our number is 15, you can use the new chart or you can stay on the chart you're on. Okay, but the idea is that they can now count. Ready? Finger flash. You're going to finger flash 10 to your left, and then we're going to count by ones to our right. So it's kinesthetic place value. Everyone count with me. 10, and our fingers are flashing 10 to the left. One finger on our right. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Today new number is 15. And then you would proceed with the rest of the routine, which is on this dot chart. So boys and girls, our today's number was the number 15. How many tens and how many ones? Boys and girls, one ten and five extra ones. Ten and five equals class 15. Let's count the tens together. Ready? One ten, boys and girls. Let's count the uh, ones together. One, two, three, four, five. So you can see that if I were to choose a much bigger number, so maybe I feel pretty confident in my first grade skills, and they don't need to be doing these lower numbers. But let's just say our number um, was seventy three. Okay, so then we would say, boys and girls, today's number is seventy three. How many tens and how many ones? boys and girls, and they would say seven tens and three ones. Let's count them together. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, 
five tens, six tens, seven tens, and how many ones? One, two, three. Boys and girls, seven tens and three ones is class 73. Let's count to 73. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. So you can kind of see how it advances when we get into the larger numbers. When you start with something like a teen number, which I would not um, put past kids of still needing, it's gonna just take less time. Let's count the tens, one ten. Let's count the ones, one, two, so on and so forth. Hey, so don't forget that when you're doing finger flashes, so when we say um, our number was 82, let's count up to 82 using tens and ones, that as the student leader or yourself is pointing to that entire long list of numbers to get to the 10, right? So we're counting over here. I'm gonna get my pointer to show you. Um, and we're right here and we go 10. The class is finger flashing their tens to their left. Okay, so I think, I don't know if that's showing up on yours is left to right, but it should always show up as their left, right? So I usually mirror my, my back is to the class and we're finger flashing together because I want their, it's kinesthetic place value. So when we go up to 10 and we're going 10, 20, it's always to their left and then their ones are to their right. So let's say it's 22, 10, 20, freeze, 21, 22. That's the finger flashing that should happen when we do the counting from tens to ones. When we're doing it, if we're adding in that old first grade routine or from kindergarten, and we're saying, let's count to 15, when I get to 10, I make them clap. So when we say one, two, three, four, every time we get to one of those decade numbers, now we clap. Students are still counting. One, two, three, it's more engaging that way. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I still have them doing their finger counting, but every time we get to a decade, we clap. When we're actually doing the finger flash, when we're counting by tens and ones, it's tens to our left and it's ones to our right. Um, so if you need to mirror them and turn your back, however that looks, um, make sure that you do that because it's not in front of us, okay? It's kinesthetic, always tens to the left, always ones to the right. I have students stand during this time because it's, again, it's even more engaging. So boys and girls, now let's count to 82, stand up, we finger flash it, they sit back down, they do the rest of the routine as you just saw in the video. I hope that helps. Let's make the number 15. 15 is made from the number 10 and five. 10 and five is 15. Let's say it together. 15 is 10 and five. Now, if you're going to use your actual secret code cards for this, instead of this digital um, slide, you have that option as well. So in this case, you're going to take your secret code cards. I put mine on rings like this so that you can um, keep them together easier. It's, and then people hang them up in their bulletin boards, um, but all the cards stay together. And when a student drops them, they don't go all over the floor. So if we're gonna do 10 and five, we would have student leader finding those cards maybe ahead of time because they already know that's gonna be the number for today. And now I'd say, boys and girls, let's build the number. 10 and five make 15. Let's say it together. 15 is 10 plus five. Now with the physical cards, I like to turn them over so that students can say it a second way with the proof drawing, especially in first grade, as we're at the beginning of the year, a lot of times we're still proving it to ourselves that that's really 15. That if I were to use the cards one and five and I turn those cards over, I get six. There's only one dot and five dots. We're looking to see that 15 is not a one and a six, 15 is a 10 and it is a five. So we'd say 10 and five make 15. And it's great activity to see which kids are bringing up the one and the five cards when they're the student leader and how many of them are remembering it's a 10 and a five. So again, you can use your physical secret code cards. This is the teacher set to do this um, routine, or of course you can use this slide to help you instead. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.